Welcome to the show that looks at truth, fiction, and reality with a smirk. I'm Aaron Peterson. I'm Amanda Singh. And I'm Zach Parkerson. And this week we're going to do something special because technically we weren't going to do an episode this week. We were going to take the week off so we could get a little break. But we said, you know what? Let's do a little something fun That's and unacceptable short. to us. We will never miss a week. Well, we're not technically. I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I was, He's saying that he would never let that happen. Yeah, that's what. Ever. Because we, we came together and decided we would not miss a week. Okay. So we did something a little fun. Yeah, there you go. So okay. we're doing a it's, little. It's a little weird too. Jeez, Aaron. Yeah. It is very weird. We're going to basically make up a story. Maybe you should write notes of what you think, too, of what you would make your story be as you go along. And the things that you would change to what we came up with. So we're going to do it. Just so you know, there's going to be two ways you hear this story. You're going to hear the actual making of this nonsense, (laughs) and then you'll hear the full story as one whole story. So you're going to get two versions. It's the, the original with the remake in the same episode. Wow. You're welcome. I hope we remake that story right. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do. That used to be a good podcast. I heard they canceled <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's what I heard. Yeah. I heard somebody killed it. Yeah, there were a few wah, good episodes. Wah, There's wah, like 70 wah. episodes. Go listen to it. It's a really good one. And the ones about comic book characters are good. Okay. Are you guys ready to hear the rules and let's go through this thing? Let's do it. Let's do this. Okay. The mini smirk. Just, I guess. It's like a, a mini smirk. Okay. Sometimes. So here's what I think we do seven rounds. We each take a turn. Okay. Each person says one sentence. And basically, it goes from you to you to me to you. We're really, three, yeah. We really just keep sorry. going round robin seven times. Each story builds on the previous, or the each sentence builds on the previous sentence till we have a complete story. So we have 21. We so have, the first person opens the story and the last person finishes the story. And we have it. So we have a 21 sentence story. Yes. Essentially. Okay. So basically, we go off Boy, whatever the last you're person not starting said. starting with me. Okay. Im- well, improv. We can start with Don't look that. at me. <laughs> it's like improv storytelling. Yeah. Like, it'd be fun, improv. though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We can am try. I, am I starting? Yeah, you can start. You start, yeah, and we'll, you're creative. We'll, we'll start with you. Well, I'm not creative. I'm going to give you the most lame intro <laughs> ever. Okay. Uh, wait, hold on. Okay, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking. No, no, no. That's fine. Take your time. I'll take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really helping. <laughs> Jenny and Steve pull the Thunderbird up to the overlook, overlooking town, or to the outcropping what do you call it you kind of got to do a whole sentence though it's no i know make... but i'm trying to think of the, what that's called just with like a cliff like an overlook right yeah just an overlook yeah jenny and steve pull the thunderbird up to the overlook that's looking over the town steve looks out the window and thinks he sees something in the distance but he isn't sure jenny hears something in the trees thinks it's the wind ruffling and tells him to disregard Jenny reaches out to Steve's face and pulls him in for a kiss. Steve leans in to the kiss when suddenly the door opens. Hmm, which way do I take this? Are you keeping track of the rounds, by the way? Yeah. Okay. That's, we're almost in the finishing first okay. round. Yeah. No, Thanks, you're the last of the second round. I know. That's why I have two on my oh, fingers. Okay. You had one. Well, I'm glad you got Because you're not track. done yet. Do yours. It's Jenny's ex-husband. That took a turn. I really did. I was going to go werewolves. So much for werewolves. <laughs> I was going to go there. No, no, that's all right. You... Jenny's ex-husband rips Steve out of the car. Steve goes flying to the ground. Jenny immediately exits the vehicle. As Jenny begins to yell at her ex-husband, he begins to transform. As the full moon gleams in the night sky, Jenny's ex-husband begins to change hair growing, muscles ripping, Fangs bearing as he as he lunges towards Steve. Steve looks up and sees Jenny's ex-husband lunging at him, fangs exposed, and gives him a little smile. Maybe a little smirk. <laughs> nice. And gives him a little smirk. <laughs> Even better. Jenny screams to distract her ex-husband and give Steve the time allowed to escape. But Steve doesn't need to escape, because with that smirk, he's already prepared as he runs to the trunk. Steve gets the trunk open and pulls out a huge, longer-than-himself sword. (laughs) Did I see the sword coming? (laughs) That's not where I was going to (laughs) go. With sword in hand, Steve's own fangs begin to show. 
as he senses. Eh. <laughs> yes, he says. <laughs> well, I was going to say there's no blood in the story, so I was hoping you, that that... You can throw it in there. You, your, your sentence, you can do it. Smells you want. the blood on Jenny. Yeah. It's that time of the month, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember how I started that. He's a... He's got sword in hand. With, oh, with yeah. sword in hand. As, as Steve himself is transforming. With sword in hand, Steve himself, begin, Steve himself begins to transform. And... Wait... Wait, hold on. I messed it up. Okay. With sword in hand, Steve himself begins to transform as he smells a cut from Jenny's hand. This is, this is level, this is six. We're starting six. So we got to start winding it down. Unexpectedly, Jenny herself begins to transform. <laughs> Everybody's a werewolf. <laughs> well, no, I was doing, he was a vampire. Uh, the, oh. Steve was a vampire. That's why I said the blood. Oh, I, I well, I guess that can go either way. Okay, yeah, I thought, right. I sorry. thought it was a wolf sniffing out blood. All right. we can, we, they can all nope, be werewolves. No, 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 no it's, it's fine. Where we're at now. Where, that's where we're at. Okay, <laughs> so what was yours again? I forget what you were Unexpected to, unexpectedly to everybody, Jenny herself begins to transform. Steve didn't know this. <laughs> he wants himself. <laughs> <laughs> what a turn. <laughs> and then raises a sword above his head. In one swift motion, Steve takes the sword and slashes Jenny through her stomach after realizing that the ex-husband is only there because they have still been involved with each other. Hell of a realization to have. <laughs> <laughs> what gave it away? The blood? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't have enough time to develop that. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't. I didn't see that one coming. I just wanted her to die. Sorry. Yeah, I guess I wanted her to to get the kill. Okay, last round. Yeah, and now she's got a sword through her, right? Or she's just slashed? In her, slashed in her stomach. So it is in her stomach. Well, slashed so, her stomach. So she's not stabbed. Right. I said She's slashed. only been slashed. Yeah. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. Okay. She can come back. Yeah. Jenny offers no hesitation as she grabs the sword by its blade and shoves it through Steve's throat. Damn! <laughs> I like this story. <laughs> uh, what's Jenny's phone number again? <laughs> Eight six, six seven, seven five three zero oh, nine. nine. Wow, that was, I can't believe you both did that. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. It sounds like Steve's dead. Yes, yeah, he's now. Now I've killed Steve <laughs> off. Now it's a wounded Jenny blade with her sword. In well, the sword, well, the swords in Steve's mm. throat. So maybe it falls. Maybe it, maybe she doesn't. Yeah, and you guys have a sentence. Yeah, yeah. Jenny's ex is an ex husband, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jenny's ex husband, Frank. <laughs> so that's his name. So glad, oh, yeah, that's right. so glad he finally has a name. <laughs> Let's go with something different than I guess. No, Frank's fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah, it's, just, it's just funny that we waited until now to get my name. <laughs> the very end of the story. Jenny's ex husband, Frank, lunges for the sword as the entire time. We come to realize he was there to save Steve from Jenny. And you get the last sentence. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Who's going to make it? Shh. Hold on. She has fate herself in her, in her hand. She can't dum, handle dum, 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 Stop dum, talking. Dum, I'm dum, trying dum. to think. <laughs> Do you want Jason Statham to show up? <laughs> oh, but no, she wants Jason Statham to show up. <laughs> oh, Jason Statham is here. <laughs> Jason Statham, no red. Shut up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> She's scary. Hey, yo, you want to tell a story? <laughs> I'm going to lose it if you don't stop. And the music and the moment. Do you own it? <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> With the slight smirk on Jenny's face, she takes her long fingernails and slices them across Frank's throat, exposing his, exposing everything. His trachea. Yeah. That's, that's a good word. Expose. <laughs> Uh, now I don't remember how no, it started. I don't think you, I think you can just continue, right? Just finish your thought. Exposing his trachea. Exposing his trachea and takes her other hand, plunges it into his chest, and rips out his heart. 
Damn. And as you tell your own life story. <laughs> always, <laughs> always remember to tell <laughs> it. Your own life story, always remember to tell it with a smirk. Ooh, there you go. There's the, what do you think? Story time. That I thought was that fun. was a fun little exercise. Yeah, definitely didn't, you know, it went some it went some directions. And see, here's what I'm going to do when this comes out. And people are listening to this, so they'll know. Uh-huh. But you can, you know, I'm going to put it out so that they hear the whole going through the story. And then <laughs> the actual story is going to come into play at the very end. So here in a second, you're going to hear that whole story put together as one. Oh. Thank God. But what, but what do you think about it? St- <laughs> Let's talk about it a little bit now. We've got a couple minutes now that we can actually talk about it. What was the biggest turn for you from all that? Either it, one of you. It was it was Steve transforming. Frank's yeah. name becoming a thing. <laughs> that was definitely a twist. <laughs> definitely a twist. I'm sorry about that, but that's how that No, it needed out. to happen. I just didn't do it in the beginning, so. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I thought Steve was just gonna be a boy, boy a homeboy, just looking out for everybody. Yeah, that's true. So yeah. kind of werewolf Slayer, maybe. Mine was Jenny, uh, have it being being a thing of her own, being a vampire or whatever she ended up being, a vam wolf. They're all werewolves in my mind. So. Okay, so they're all that's werewolves. Fine. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it turned out to be for real. I'm just saying that's what it. That's what it you, turned out for use me. your own imagination, however you see okay. it. Okay. Oh, there you go. Because that is kind of how it worked out. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Jenny coming into her own. I, would, yeah. I wasn't going to let Jenny die off. She I didn't want to let her die I, off I didn't either. think she would be the monster, a monster as well, though. So basically, they're all having a, they're all wolfing out. Yeah, they're all werewolf. Yeah. They the probably met were- in the same nightclub. <laughs> <laughs> they all werewolfed out. But Frank was trying to save Steve. Aww. Right. right. Yeah. Poor but, Frank. As we would later learn. That I the, can't choose names very well. Frank is fine. Steve, Apparently I fixed, not. It caused I a lot Steve. of ire. See, I just laughed because it was the second to last sentence. And we it was. Yeah. It. <laughs> well, everybody kept saying ex-husband. And I'm like, damn it, what is it? <laughs> he doesn't deserve a name. <laughs> yeah, so I guess what? She was just seducing poor Steve, who she also was. happened to be a werewolf. But maybe but he she was didn't pre- know. He was prepared just in case her werewolf ex-boyfriend came along. <laughs> That or because he himself is a werewolf, he is always carrying a silver sword around because he can't. He needs to know. He needs to protect himself against other werewolves. Yeah. He, he wants that. He wants that leg up. Didn't mm-hmm. work out in the end, but. Well, actually, you know, I didn't want to do guns. So I'm like, eh, sword. Why not? Right. I would. I was thinking crossbow in my mind. Was, I was, wish was I could have thought of that a little quicker. A but silver tip sword's arrow. what I came up with. <laughs> that's what I had. And he was gonna shoot her. Did you guys think that's fun? Is that, that was fun. Yeah, that was we'd fun. Do again. <laughs> yeah, I liked it. It, you know, because it goes under, it goes unexpected directions. So, what's the moral of that story? You always bring your silver sword with. Don't date Jenny. Yeah, never go to the Overlook. Jenny. The Overlook. The Overlook is never as good as it seems in the movies. <laughs> People always die there. <laughs> Sometimes ex-husbands named Frank just come yeah. out of nowhere. My you boy. never know who to trust until it's too late. Hmm. Well, well she moral, went for real. No, the moral of her story is you can't trust anybody. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, because Jenny went evil. Yeah, Jenny's the Jenny. Yeah. I'm going to call her Jenny. <laughs> Jenny. You know what, though? Jenny's a survivor. She is. Go, she Jenny. Won. I was I was waiting because Amanda had it all in her hands, so she got to decide exactly who <laughs> made it out of this thing alive, and of course she chose the woman. Of course, you can't fridge Jenny. Jenny was already on the path to survival. <laughs> she I was. I can't deter her yeah, from that. Because she was... She was so she was so cool that she grabbed the sword by the blade and said, I don't think so, Steve. And this happened to the Yeah, I like that. That was cool. cool. That was a cool twist. Nice. Zach's just trying to figure out a way that Steve can die. Yeah. I well no, originally I wanted Steve to be the victor. He had who's gonna have I thought he was gonna have a silver crossbow. I thought he was gonna be a hero. But no, you guys took the story in a different direction, so I had to kill Steve off when, when the time came. Poor so, Steve. So I wanted I wanted Steve to be the guy on top, you know? I wanted him to get the girl on his arm, the moon, the moon shining down on him. He's got the crossbow in the other arm, and he's like groovy, baby. Instead, she loses kiss. both guys because they're well, both dead. She'll find a new one. Well, it sounded like she was going to take both. She was going to take Steve away anyway because mm-hmm. we changed her motivations halfway through the story, so, <laughs> which is fine. That's the idea. What was the idea? It's like to see where we could go, and everybody's trying to force their own direction. Right. That's why it makes it kind of a fun little exercise. Yeah. Well, Our- I, I went with where the characters took me. So is the story uh, truth okay. or fiction? <laughs> <laughs> this is a definite case of trickshing, guys, yeah. because you yeah. can never really know about werewolves. So. Yeah, they're, sometimes they're out there. They are just hanging around. Every time I go running, I'm worried about the werewolves. <laughs> yeah, both times you've ever gone running. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, well, so that's a good wolf. now we did all that. We put it together. Now you get to hear the full story as one whole story as we tell you this version of Smirk.
Jenny and Steve pull the Thunderbird up to the overlook that's looking over the town. Steve looks out the window and thinks he sees something in the distance, but he isn't sure. Jenny hears something in the trees, thinks it's the wind ruffling, and tells him to disregard. Jenny reaches out to Steve's face and pulls him in for a kiss. Steve leans in to the kiss when suddenly the door opens. It's Jenny's ex-husband. Jenny's ex-husband rips Steve out of the car. Steve goes flying to the ground. Jenny immediately exits the vehicle. As Jenny begins to yell at her ex-husband, he begins to transform. As the full moon gleams in the night sky, Jenny's ex-husband begins to change, hair growing, muscles ripping, fangs bearing, as he lunges towards Steve. Steve looks up and sees Jenny's ex-husband lunging at him, fangs exposed, and gives him a little smirk. Jenny screams to distract her ex-husband and give Steve the time allowed to escape. But Steve doesn't need to escape, because with that smirk, he's already prepared as he runs to the trunk. Steve gets the trunk open and pulls out a huge, longer-than-himself sword. With sword in hand, Steve himself begins to transform as he smells a cut from Jenny's hand. Unexpectedly, Jenny herself begins to transform. Steve didn't know this. (laughs) He wets himself. (laughs) And then raises the sword above his head. In one swift motion, Steve takes the sword and slashes Jenny through her stomach after realizing that the ex-husband is only there because they have still been involved with each other. Jenny offers no hesitation as she grabs the sword by its blade and shoves it through Steve's throat. Jenny's ex-husband, Frank, lunges for the sword as the entire time we come to realize he was there to save Steve from Jenny. With the slight smirk on Jenny's face, she takes her long fingernails and slices them across Frank's throat, exposing his trachea, and takes her other hand, plunges it into his chest, and rips out his heart. Damn. And as you tell your own life story. You know, <laughs> always remember to tell <laughs> it. As you write your own life story. story, always remember to tell it. With a smirk. All right, that's it. Now, what's the title of the story? Who's got a title? Should we do three words? We each get one word. Mm. Oh, that's that's going to be a terrible title. <laughs> that is going to be a terrible well, I started, title. Well, I started last time, right? So I should start this time. Yeah, go ahead. Crimson. Tide. There's no water in this Yeah, story. wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Let me start again. <laughs> Let me try this again. Maybe. Crimson red. Isn't crimson already red? Yes, but so crimson. God damn it. Hang on. <laughs> well, you could do crimson. Well, no, crimson red is like a definitive color, isn't sure. it? Sure. Uh, yeah, crimson red. No, hang on. Let me think. Let me <laughs> think. Let me get, think. Let me look think. at all these do-overs. <laughs> no, you said crimson mulligan. red. Mulligan. Okay, crimson red. Yeah, you got one mulligan. All right. I took two, I guess, so. All right. <laughs> You're crimson red now. Crimson red. Amanda. Yeah, it is a thing. It's yeah. a real thing. Amanda. Hmm. Same point. I don't uh could you uh could you Well, all the words that are coming to mind are ones that are too obvious. Well, that's fine. Just put one out there. Can you cue a sound effect of uh grasshopper chirping right now? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you sound like Tommy Wiseau? <laughs> Can't do any worse. <laughs> this is a them cricket. <laughs> <laughs> You're not helping. I can't think when you make sound effects. Gosh, she has a dead ass silent room to think. <laughs> you obviously can't think when there's no quiet, too. <laughs> don't worry, it's just the final name. <laughs> I just don't understand why it's got to be that tough. Crimson Red Overlook. No, no I can't. thought about that. Uh, and can't. I thought about Fang, and I thought about Death, and I thought about Sword. Night? Crimson Red Night. There it is. That's what it is. I don't know. I was going to Moon. <laughs> oh, because he's got the sword. Because he's got the sword. Oh, there you, go. there you go. That's pretty cool. Okay. I can tell you what my sword, what I was going to name it. What, what is it? I would have named it Crimson and Silver. Oh. That's what I had in my That, that would have worked. But we went with Crimson Red Knight. <laughs> with the K. With the K. With the K. Crimson Red Sorry. Knight. <laughs> would you, do, you, do you think you could give it a better three-word title off the top of your head? Or do we have to wait probably... 
<laughs> You'd probably have to wait, and you guys okay. don't want to wait for me. Yeah, let's go with the Crimson Red Knight, because then everybody's going to be like, what no. the frack does that no, I mean? mean? I thought it would just be, well, yeah. I thought it would also be fun if after we de- picked our definitive title, what, you, what t- title you thought up. Oh, well, now that I've thought about it for exactly eight seconds. Uh, well, you're not you're not thinking maybe to, just a name doesn't just call to you after a story? Mm, yeah, sometimes. Um, eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's funny as well. I actually do kind of like this. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I would go with that one, Amanda. Stick with it. Why not? Yeah, I think we know Amanda's. Past Overlook. P-A-S-T. Past Overlook. Like this happened in the past. Her past came to the Overlook, see? The ex-husband. Right. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Past Overlook. Frank. There you go. Yeah, Frank. All right, well, that's enough of our random ass episode. <laughs> Thanks for listening. As our show goes, we will occasionally pick listener stories to read and discuss on Smirk. If you'd like the chance to have yours, write email to my smir- my story at smirkpodcast.com. Obviously, we normally have a more put together show. We just thought this would be a fun thing for like a holiday week. So, hope you enjoyed this little short version and be sure to join our Facebook group or follow us on Twitter at Smirk Podcast and use the show's hashtag Smirk. And as you write your own life story, always remember to tell it. With a smirk. Oh. Oh. Oh.